Hi guys, this is Mark from the ATV guys, and today I'm in my driveway. I am at home, and I'm. Uh, I went for a ride yesterday with uh, a guy from Europe, um, and I showed him our Canadian trails, uh, like the trail system in Quebec. Uh, the guy went totally bonkers. It was really awesome. We had an awesome day, like almost 300 clicks of uh, of trails, good speed. Uh, if you guys are outside of the province of Quebec, if you have a chance to come try the La Nodière, La Nodière region, uh, that's the north shore of Montreal between, uh, let's say, Montreal and uh, Trois Rivières, Three Rivers. Uh, some of the best trails around, and they're not actually far from towns and stuff like that, so you have access to all kinds of stuff. Uh, restaurants, garage, parts, all, all kinds of stuff are readily accessible in case you break down or you want to eat or you want to sleep over. But that region is awesome so now the uncool thing is I have to wash these things so this is gold digger this is our 2000 uh, 2020 uh, RS1 from Polaris uh, awesome 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 machine I can't say enough good things about this thing it's just kick-ass I can't. It's hard to uh, it's hard to put it into words because I'm a writer. I'm a mechanic. I'm not like this uh, super host and stuff like that. But mechanically talk and mechanically speaking, it's very stout. The suspension is just incredible on this thing. If it had better shocks, because it's got some Walker Evans on it, and uh, which in my view is entry level stuff. It's not not pristine, but it does it does the job. Uh, they're adjustable and stuff. It, it's What's this thing doing here? <laughs> it's cool, but we got uh, some uh, super ATV uh, art uh, radius rods in the back for one simple reason. The first time we took it out, we did 100 clicks and we bent one with a stalker. So these are the box, the A arms from Super ATV. Uh, these uh, these are a lifesaver actually. They they make they, they make a lot. They're a lot better on ground on ground clearance. So love these things what what you don't see on, on it is this thing has been heavily worked and oop there you can see that we had a little bit of damage dang that's a powder coated wheel crud yeah stuff happens that's uh, riding in trails dang it well uh we're gonna have to redo that wheel so everything everything that's steel on this thing is powder coated uh, triple bronze so this is the this is the color. So we, we took it apart, and uh, my friend uh, Sebastian, which knows uh, practically nothing about mechanics, uh, pulled it all apart, and put it back together, got the powder coating done, got some very very special, uh, very special 3M uh, stripes on it. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but these are these are color phasing stripes. It's a new product they had. They came out with last year. Um, my buddy is from Trimline. I totally uh, decked it out because we took all the stickers, the uh, original stickers, uh, away from it, off of it. Sorry, uh, but this is an awesome ride, and uh, Polaris uh, was kind enough to give us a good deal on this thing, and uh, we're keeping it. <laughs> we are keeping it, and uh, well, everybody knows Shogun from now. Uh, I think if <laughs> if you watch the the page or the channel. Shogun is our uh, is our 2016 uh, YXZ SE2 uh, fully manual sequential shift with a clutch. This thing is just kick ass. <laughs> I I love that thing. Uh, I still love it. I I got an X3 in my garage right now that I could I could ride or I could ride that thing. I like it a lot. And back there is my my ice racer, my CF model. But this is my favorite a lot. It's just an incredible car to work with. You can place it with the throttle. This is as close as you'll get to uh, to driving a rally car. But let's get back to business. First of all, this thing that we have on loan is a Kodiak RT2800. It's uh, I usually have an RB our RB200 from Steel, but uh, I fell in love with this thing because it's just. The, the water the, the water pressure on this thing is just freaking awesome it's this pump here and this uh, 
This is sold by my friend uh, Stefan, and Stefan is a uh, owns a shop called Vidam in uh, in Scott, Quebec, which is on, on the start shore of Quebec City. Uh, these are about seven hundred bucks. Oh yeah, you'll say they are expensive, but the thing is, is you can get parts for these things very fairly easily, and uh, which the big store brand don't. Don't ask me why I know. <laughs> well, to get back to business. We're trying out the Zoom soap. Uh, this soap was given to me by the company uh, at no cost. I was not paid. Uh, this is full disclosure. I wasn't paid or uh, whatever. You know, like uh, <laughs> they don't tell me what to say. Uh, actually, nobody does. That's why some people hate me. <laughs> but uh, I tell it the way it is. So we're going to try this soap on today on um, this guy, Gold Digger. So. Check it out. Now for the instructions. Let's go to the English side. So it says in a suitable mix water in a suitable spray container from 10 to 1 up to 100 to 1. Jeez, this is like heavily concentrated stuff. Remove any heavy caked on dirt. So we'll spray it first. Spray surface with zoom and allow it. 15 30 seconds as you take lightly which I, and I'm not brushing that's one of my uh, that's one of the stuff I I just won't do I hate to scrub I'm not scrubbing but most of the time uh, with a good soap you don't need to so once you take off the cake stuff that's on there that's it so do not allow zoom to dry on the on surface like anything any any high performance soap okay so let's start Well, step one, all the crud is off the gold digger. Hey, it's starting to show its color. <laughs> so combination is 10 to one on this. So it seals so it's nice and fresh. Four liters in my sprayer. So that means 400 millimeter, milliliters. So, and we're gonna do it uh, the old style. So, that's about it. I put a little bit more than four liters because I put a little bit too much of it. So, there's Mark. So, 10 to 1. Almost done. Putting about four and a half liters. Okay. This is this is a must-have tool. If you don't have that to wash your ATV or UTV, <coughs> uh, one, you're wasting product, and two, spraying with this not a good idea. Especially on After about an hour of drying in the sun, here are the results of the Zoom soap. Uh, tire test. Tires were pretty dusty, caked on stuff. Came up pretty good. Pretty good. Plastics. Uh, on the painted, painted stuff, it's not bad. It needs a little bit of a wipe down, like all others. The only thing is, it's not as powerful as the, the Super Clean. Super Clean is my reference product, which is available at Canadian Tower, pretty much coast to coast. Uh, washing, I don't know. You, you, you be the judge. 
still a lot of stuff in there but it's not bad not pristine uh, I'll show you the price of the product uh, on the screen right here somewhere it is super clean problem is with super clean on hot aluminum it'll it'll mark it permanently uh, that's one issue the other issue is that it's very expensive it's like uh, for a 3.78 liter can like one gallon of the stuff uh, you'll pay up worse to close to 20 20 something bucks uh, which is very very expensive and you can't you can't dilute it if you dilute it let's say uh, one to one uh, you lose a lot of its potency so it's extremely expensive so on that ratio uh, the zoom the zoom is not bad I like it for one thing it doesn't smell it's not very uh, it's not annoying uh, when you spray it it's it's decent it does a decent job it's not the best it's not the best I've seen it's not the best I've used but it's a good honest product so that's what it is so this is my review of the zoom power sports soap And that's it. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like or subscribe to our Facebook page where you get all our latest news and all kinds of stuff that we put on there about ATVs and side-by-sides. I'm Mark and this is the ATV guys.